So I grew up in a small town called Covington, Louisiana. Um, and Louisiana, obviously, one of the states. Yeah, they just busted a man in our town with a 30-pound uh, bag of hamster bones on him. My buddy's like, what they charge him with? I'm like, with working for Satan, brother, okay? With freelancing for Voldemort, daddy bear, all right? My first job was actually selling hamsters. And we used to sell basically tattooed hamsters and guinea pigs outside of concerts and raves. We had a man in our town, he bred hamsters. Another man did tattoo work. They met at a picnic, boom, that's big business. They would brand the hamsters with whatever band was coming to town. Put a little insignia on the side of them, ACDC, 311, Green Day. First time Green Day came through town, I probably made 600 and something dollars selling hamsters and guinea pigs to people on ecstasy. Because people leaving concerts, what are they on, friend number two? They're on drugs, they're on liquor, they're on weed, pot, uppers, downers, rounders, side splitters. <laughs> ecstasy pills, ecstasy pills. Look, man, I'm not a scientist, but I will say this. You leave a club, somebody hits you with that ham, that warm, furry little new friend, that living, creaching, breathing little eclair of the Lord. You set that thing in their hands, they buy it for $20 every time. I'm not gonna say I'm the Willie Loman of hamsters, but I'm not gonna say that I'm not.